too tall. Hello! Welcome to my channel. <laughs> my name is Robin Sealer. I I'm a professional artist. My dream job. <laughs> a YouTuber. Okay, here's the thing. Okay guys, I'm going to get real. I'm gonna strip this back. I'm gonna stop making this harder for myself than it should be. I have gone through a lot of very long takes trying to come up with something profound to talk about. This just isn't that kind of week for me. I gave myself a week to just paint and I had a really great time and I have time-lapse footage to show you and I have some thoughts and I'm just gonna let them go. Well, the joke's on me because welcome to take six. I take very seriously the videos I put out and your attention, the time you give me, and I don't want to violate that. So anyways, this is take six, this is week two, and I hope you guys enjoy this. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the five things that I wish I knew as a beginner artist. Uh, take seven. It's the 10 things I wish I knew as a beginner artist. Help! <laughs> Number one, learn the basics. Take time to invest in foundational skills. Don't rush it or hate it. It will serve you later. So it is very important to recognize it not as an obstacle or something to get out of the way, but as a long-term investment in your future crafting abilities and something that you are going to be grateful that you gave yourself time to do. If you take this time and really dive into the experience of learning that foundational knowledge, then later when you come up with creative ideas or style concept, you're not gonna be limited by what you are able to do. You'll have all of the skills you need to create and craft in very innovative directions. That freedom is so useful to be able to fully creatively express and is something that will give you a lot of confidence, play, and ability to change or pivot. Number two, don't rush your style. Take your time to find your style. Part of the reason of paying your dues as a young artist is so that you can experiment, try new things, test your curiosities, and make sure that when you start diving into a specific subject matter or style or area of interest, that you're not gonna have regrets or questions about what you haven't already tried. Style is something that can organically evolve and will over time. It's definitely something you can invest effort into and there's strategic ways to go about crafting your style, but you're going to naturally watch yourself be drawn toward things that will define your style if you just invest time in working, in showing up, in coming to the studio, and in producing. Number three, make art for you. Don't obsess over the product. When you're in the beginning, you will stunt your growth if you stick to only what you're good at or what you think people will like, what you can post or share online, what you can confidently flip through in your sketchbook and elicit people being impressed by you. Milk sink in to being a beginner. You literally have the least amount of pressure on you right now to create a finished stylized product. And it's nice to build an audience but not everything you make has to be made for other people's eyes. So don't be afraid to make a mess or something ugly or awkward. Give your sketchbook the freedom, give yourself the freedom, sink in and embrace the stage of being a beginner artist. Number four, milk other artists. While you're in school, take advantage of opportunities where you are surrounded by artists in training, teachers, working artists. Don't pass up that valuable, available growth resource. You're surrounded by people with a lot more experience and lessons learned than you, people you can bounce ideas off of, and you're not always going to have a built-in community that can offer you that kind of feedback, instruction, criticism. A lot of the teachers have done hard lifting to learn lessons that you should be taking advantage of and asking to learn from them. So befriend people, make a community, collaborate, assist, volunteer, ask questions, respect Respect the people whose backs you stand on and a good teacher will give you more respect and resources where you give back. 
your respect and resources. Five, take non-art classes. If you wanna be a professional and you're going to school, you're going to college, you're taking adult classes, being a good creative is only one part of the equation. You need to build your skills, take strategic business and digital medium classes, things that you need to know to be financially successful as an artist, self-promotion skills, basic photography and editing, design sense for web development or showcasing or promotional materials. Those are going to serve you and be really important, so don't neglect that part of your education. Six, adopt an inspiration mindset. Look at the world as a source of inspiration. It enriches your day-to-day -day life. It helps you embrace and feel enthusiasm about new opportunities and experiences, and it makes everything exciting and beautiful. <laughs> you can go look at social interactions or visuals when you're on a walk and all of a sudden you are constantly using the material around you to feed into your artwork which is just going to make it more interesting and is going to make you have a certain level of investment and excitement in the way you're interacting with the world around you. Seven, follow artists online. Fill your news feeds with people you creatively admire. Saturate yourself with inspiring content. Intake it with awe, not self-loathing. It is so healthy to begin building your interests and identity around worthwhile things. Honor the importance of your time and attention span. It's fun to have social influencers or friends and family in your newsfeed, but don't exclude art because you'll grow and expand from seeing other artists work daily and you'll be surprised how much information artists embed in the content they're putting out, which you can be growing from. Eight, start self-promoting. It's never too early to start building your online presence. Over years, you're going to learn how to structure your content and figure out how to successfully showcase your work. And when you start, it doesn't have to be perfect. But by getting online, you can start to observe what accounts you follow and admire, what they do well, why you follow them, what are they doing differently or would they do differently to curate your content. And slowly, you can start to build those skills before it feels like this high stake investment. I definitely think it can be worthwhile. Nine, be realistic and calm down. I spent so much time stressing over not knowing whether being a professional artist was possible and trying to figure out what to do with my future. So let me pass this on. Being a professional artist is completely possible. Look at other people doing it, therefore possible. It takes work and strategy and it takes relying on community and learning. And while it feels mystical how to arrive right now, there are definite strategic ways for you to grow your business and sales. It requires sacrifice and fear and a lot of investment of time and energy. But if you're willing to do it, pay your dues work hard, be active, you can make it, but you have to be realistic about your expectations because art is not an easy job and being creatively skilled is only one part of carving your career. Business is a big component. So know what you're signing up for and be realistic about what your expectations can be and how much work and risk and fear will go into this possibility. 10. Competence breeds confidence. So fear not. Fear and anxiety hold you back. They push you to make fear-based decisions which limit your creative energy. So to learn, innovate, grow, you have to be willing to take risks, ask questions, put yourself in vulnerable situations and on display. And you need to be open to critique or rejection as well as acceptance and celebration. While anxiety is real and valid, the best thing I've done to decrease my fear is to be very intentional, hardworking, and give myself reasons to respect myself. Because when my confidence is rooted on solid ground, I am much less vulnerable to negativity. If you don't feel confident in your abilities, place your confidence in something else which is very valuable. Your effort, your willingness to show up and put yourself out there, your humility, your ability to accept feedback so you can grow, how hardworking you are. All of these breed confidence that will leave you much more self-assured and self-accepting and give you a huge sense of relief when you have to put yourself into vulnerable situations in order to showcase what you do. 11 is kind of dumb, so we're throwing it in as a bonus, but be really careful with your expensive equipment. Yeah, my beginner self needed to know, keep 
liquids away from your digital devices. At this point, I put my liquids on a completely different surface than I put my computer always. That crap's expensive. All in all, show up, ask questions, invest in your future, volunteer, build support networks, ask what questions you should be asking. Learning is not passive, it's active. And the more active you are, the more you will get out of your education. <sighs> Six take, I think I freaking nailed it. <laughs> Watch me go to editing and get self-conscious and come back with a take seven. Nah, no, you really did nail it, brah. Woot. No, 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 this is where I'm ending it. I hope this was useful and good, and if it wasn't, I apologize. I will do better in the future. And if you guys do want to see a really broken down strategic video about how to build an artist career, because that's something I know I used to want so desperately, please let me know, like this video, leave me a comment, anything to affirm that, and uh, I will see you guys next Saturday. Um, make sure you're subscribed to my social media so you can follow along. Check out my Patreon if you want to support this channel or be more involved. And I will see you guys in a week. Bye. Bye. I'm doing my best to you. I, I hope you guys have a great creative week, weekend. Sending all my love to you guys. And bye.